your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. A combined 35 points by former Kentucky Wildcats in Saturday night's quarterfinal win for the Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker, Archie Goodwin, and Josh Harrelson all contributing in the Suns win. The Suns taking on the Pelicans on Sunday in the NBA Las Vegas Summer League. There's the book. This is the semifinal action. Late first half, good one. I got range. Dialing it up gives Phoenix its first lead of the game. Archie entering his third year in the league. Under a minute left, Josh Harrelson. I got range too, bruh. That's from long distance. 19 points, 9 rebounds, so a rebound shy of a double-double for Jorts. Final seconds of the half. Suns running. Archie, wee, good one. He was 5 of 9 from the field for 12 points. Suns had the lead at the half. Second half, uh, let's call it the Booker half. Devin Booker, lottery pick, went 13th overall. He is doing it, doing it, and doing it well. He was 5 for 6 from the field in the third quarter, 10 of 17 from the game. John Calipari even tweeted his former player saying he is on fire. Uh, he ties the summer league record with 31 points. His high at Kentucky, by the way, was just 19. Uh, he also adds nine rebounds and book leads the Suns to a 93-87 win. Phoenix will now play the Spurs in tonight's championship game out of the NBA Summer League. Pan American Games, Team USA taking on Cuba in the semifinals. Less than 12 seconds to go. USA down a bucket. Kentucky's Lene Harper. Okay, doesn't get a bucket, but she's going to the line for two. Up in on the first one. That ties the game. This one to take the one-point lead. Buckets. 7.7 .7 seconds to go. Cuba comes down the court. They're not going to get a shot off because Lene Harper also comes up with a last second. Uh, pretty much game-ending steal. The United States advances to the gold medal game 65 to 64. The Cleveland Indians end a losing streak Saturday night. They were god-awful, to put it simply, at Great American Ballpark. They had lost nine in a row before Saturday night's win. Let's go back out to the ballpark down I-71. Rubber match Sunday in Cincy. Bottom nine, Reds down a run with a guy in scoring possession. Jason Borges, that's a single, drives in the tying run. Uh, the game is tied at three. We're playing extra baseball. First three runs the Indians scored were on bases, loaded walks. Top 11, they're loaded again. Jan Gomes, he's walking. Yeah, four out of the five runs that the Indians score are walked in by the Reds pitching staff. The last team to score four or more runs on a bases loaded walks was the Boston Red Sox back in 1992. And the Red Sox lost, Cleveland won. Well, before the year even started, this guy behind me, Kyle Busch, didn't appear to have a chance at winning a NASCAR Sprint Cup championship. That's because he broke his right leg and foot the day before the season opener down in Daytona. However, in the seven races he has competed in since being back, Busch has won two of them, including last week at Kentucky Motor Speedway. NASCAR in New Hampshire. You need to be in that top 30 in points to make the playoff bracket. Uh, Bush just a little bit outside of that. Lap 20, Carl Edwards in the lead. He was the pull setter and not in the lead anymore. Bush makes his move and he gets around him. Final lap, Bush. Nothing Bush about this. Leading all the way down the front straight away. Alex Bowman, meanwhile, uh, running into the wall. That means this race is ending on a caution. Bush in victory lane. Sonoma Raceway, check. Kentucky Speedway, check. And now New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Check. Three wins in the bag for Bush. He moves up to 33rd in points. Twitter video of the day yesterday. Jake Johnson, Pulaski County. One-handed grab. I got it. His quarterback, Riley Hall, throwing that bomb of a pass. Look at it in slow-mo. The 5A state champs will defend their title this season. Head coach John Hines and the guys will start training camp Wednesday. Meanwhile, scary moment in South Africa. Mike Mick Fanning, I should say, a professional surfer attacked by a shark at the J Bay Open Finals. He was able to get away from this unscathed. Rescuers immediately got there to help. Thank goodness this happened in the Eastern Cape. Fanning said he punched it in the back. The World Surf League would cancel the finals. Fanning gives us the play by play. It started getting pulled underwater, and then the thing came up, and I was on my board. 
and it was like right there I saw the like the whole thing just thrashing around but I was getting dragged under by my leg rope and then and then I felt like it like it kicked me off but then it was still there going and I was still attached to my ball and I felt like I punched it a couple of times and then and then it was dragging me I felt like it was just dragging me underwater and then all of a sudden my leg rope broke and I was like all right <laughs> just start swimming I was swimming and screaming and I was yelling at Jules to move as well but he was coming at me a little legend just like coming after me and and uh and then it was just like I was like swimming in and then I just turned around and I think I, like I just had this thought what happens if it comes to another go at me and so I just turned around so I could at least see it coming and then before I knew it the, the boat was there the jet skis were there and we were in safety and yeah I just can't believe it I'm just tripping. Wow said he was tripping that was crazy incredible video thank goodness he is okay that's a final look at sports this morning enjoy your morning.